we have two nerve entrapment tests for the foot. The first one is called the Morton's test or the squeeze test. And the squeeze test is also a test for stress fractures. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So for the squeeze test, and again, we've had squeeze tests for the lower legs and for the pelvis, but for this, the squeeze test is basically, all you would do is take one hand or two hands and you're going to wrap around basically their metatarsal heads and come here and you are just going to squeeze their foot together. So I'm pushing inwards with both of my hands and it's kind of making her foot squeeze in kind of like this, come together. And by doing that, what I'm looking for is a reproduction of her symptoms. So she would have come in and said, hey, I have like this weird pain. Typically it shoots between their third and fourth toes and it almost feels like lightning bolts coming out those toes. And so what will happen is when I do this test and I squeeze in, she would say that she feels those exact same symptoms. Now, I could do this on a person who has no symptoms and because all of your ganglions come down and they are innervating this way, it's possible that I could make them tender uh, just by doing this because I can pinch those ganglion heads. But in general, they're coming in with symptoms and then I'm reproducing them by squeezing. The other test is going to be our web space test. And this is usually between the second and third toes. So what you would do is just take your thumb and press it on the dorsal aspect. And before I did this, she made faces. She didn't like it very good. But again, if she didn't come in with symptoms previously and I'm just pushing on it, it's because I'm pushing on the ganglion that are sending innervation down into her foot and so it's uncomfortable. You can also do it on the bottom part of their foot and push up. So you can go from the top side and the bottom side and it's probably good to assess both ways because everybody's structured a little bit differently. So they could have their, their nerves more dorsally located or more on the plantar aspect of their foot. Typically though, we're able to get to it better on the dorsal side because the metatarsal heads aren't um, in the way and neither is that thick musculature and fascia that we find on the bottom. But again, they should have symptoms beforehand, no symptoms usually sitting here, and then we do one of these two tests and it reproduces our symptoms and then that's how you figure out if it's a positive test.